Hey everyone, my name is Cedric. In this recording, I will show you an end-to-end -end scenario using Kerbal's IO Enterprise Suite. So as you may know, Kerbal's IO is a video analytics and video management platform, which is open, modular, extensible for all of you. Um, so it's most of it is, is open source and you can use it for your own use case. So if you may uh, discovering already is that we have three different building blocks, Kerbal's Agent, Kerbal's Vault, and Kerbal's Hub. And those three elements will showcase you today how to connect them to build um, a scalable video management platform. And more specifically, this is the use case that I will demonstrate to you how each of these components are actually working hand in hand uh, to support an end-to-end an -end story, which we call the Kerbal's Enterprise Suite. So it all starts on the left, uh, where a specific event is detected to person entering a building. Uh, could be uh, a machine that is actually causing fire or these kind of things. An event that actually needs to be captured by a camera. And to detect that event, we are launching the concept of a Kerbal's agent. So Kerbal's agent is a workload that is running on some kind of compute. Could be on the camera itself, could be in a Raspberry Pi, a VM, or even a Kubernetes cluster. That is actually targeting that specific stream and doing some kind of calculation. So at the core, what it's doing, it's making recordings based on motion, something that's changing inside the video stream, or it could be like continuous recording 24 and 7. It also has other capabilities like live streaming and so on, but the core is really making those recordings. Those agents are using a cloud native way, as I just explained. You can deploy them in a cluster, you can deploy them as a containers, but also as a, as a binary. The most crucial thing here is that those recordings are stored at a central place. And that's why we've introduced Kerbal's Vault. It's some kind of proxy that allows you to connect your own storage, your own S3 compliant storage, uh, to reuse the storage that you already have. So all the recordings that are being generated by your Kerbal's agent are actually stored in your own, uh, on your own storage. For example, at the edge, at the MinIO um, cluster, or in the cloud in S3, storage, Google Cloud storage, you name it. Once you have it stored in your own storage, you also have the capabilities of integrating it. I will show you later on. And to conclude, everything is brought together in a single plane, pane of glass, which we call Kerbal's Hub. Kerbal's Hub will uh, centralize all your Kerbal's agents, all your cameras in a single view. It will also centralize all your recordings in a single view. From there, you can create or watch live streams, you can create tasks, you can delegate groups of cameras to groups of people, and the list goes on. So if you want to get started, you start at the, the foundation is the Kerbal's agent. Um, so if we look into the Kerbal's agent, there's a, a lot of documentation of, uh, already available, uh, but most crucial thing is I would say the installation page. In here, you find the different methods of deploying this agent. Depending on your use case, you can mix those use cases as well. So you could say like, we have a couple of cameras installed on the camera. Some of them are just plain containers or we have a cluster at our customer, we deploy for this customer, all our agents in, a, in their existing cluster. At the end, what actually will happen is um, you will have this single pane of glass, it's Kerbal's Hub, I'll sign in. They will all show up on the cameras page. So in here, we'll have an overview of the cameras that are online, but also like offline. And you can trigger, for example, an alert when a camera goes offline, you receive an SMS, an email, or a specific API is called as well. But the thing is, independent of how you've deployed that agent, they all show up the same in Kerbal Sub and your centralized AI UI. One of the ways of deploying Kerbal's agents and, and a less technical way is Kerbal's Factory. So Kerbal's Factory is a UI which looks like this that allows a business user to create a new agent to add a new camera to the cluster. So instead of going to the Kubernetes jaml files, once you have this set up, you can simply add one or more cameras or when a new camera is added, you can add it in here. So let me just do that for a moment. I have an RTSP stream, like demo today, I give it a name, I enter in the RTSP connection and I create a new agent. So what actually is happening in this Kerberos factory installation, 
this agent here is deployed as a pod. So it's here and it's deployed on a specific node. So it's deployed on the node two. I will see that other agents are deployed to other nodes as well. So this is the distributed behavior of Kubernetes is that you actually don't know where the pod will be deployed. What you do know is that if one of those nodes goes down, those pods will also go down, but they will be rescheduled on an existing node or on a new node that has been created in the, in the cluster if you have a, a managed uh, Kubernetes cluster. So once you go in here, you will see that the agent is actually having a specific version. And probably it's also connected to my Kerberos Hub account already. So it called home, it will automatically appear here. So what I can do now is I can modify the settings of this camera, like the way how it does the recording. I can uh, specify like a time of interest. I can also say where it's stored and I can also upgrade it. So if a new Kerberos agent has been released, I can just upgrade that, that version. So now it will pull the new container and bring the new agent online and it will reconnect to my camera again. So that's actually what it's doing. So as you can imagine, you might end up with a lot of cameras and it's difficult to administrate them, right? So what you can do is you can group them, you can add them to a specific site, so a specific location, specific store. Uh, you can actually uh, add all your cameras to this site and then what you can do as an, as an administrator, you can create a new account for some of your employees and you can grant them actually some access. So you could say this uh, account has access to uh, this entire store and under hood, it actually gives access to this uh, to these cameras. So this is actually the, the governance, the camera governance behind it. And then you can delegate your, your cameras to the specific um, employee. So from here, what you will see is you get latest events. So the latest event that happened for each camera, you will see a live view. So here you will see a low resolution but you can also request like a high resolution. So we're using WebRTC to um, forward that stream from the edge into, into Kerberos Hub, which might be running in, in the cloud, who knows? Um, and that's actually the, the monitoring part. Of course, the interesting part is starting at the recordings. So what you can actually do here is you can um, have an overview of all the cameras that you're interested in. So for example, I only want to see the recordings of store entrance. And what I actually want to do is I want to see um, all the pedestrians that were like walking over here. So now I get a filter and then I can also say like only want to see pedestrians. So what actually will happen now if I would dive into this recording, I would see that, okay, a car was detected here in the back, a lot of pedestrians but also a person was here detected. And also at some point like a handbag. So I believe here this person's handbag was as well uh, detected. We can have like heat maps and also counting line. So it's kind of the, the basic, I would say machine learning part that we are applying. And uh, this is coming out of the box, but as a customer, you can also bring your own machine model as well, which I'll show you later on. But this is already a huge step forward. Instead of just having recordings, we can actually do something with that recording. Um, and with doing something is you can actually create an alert. So you can create a custom alert and you could say like, I want to be alerted if a pedestrian was detected and not just detected, but if it was, for example, crossing a line. And each time a person is crossing that line, I can trigger, for example, an API, my own backend, and I can do something with that. I can connect it to some business logic. For example, if this is a factory and if a person is walking in this area, which is kind of close to a machine, or just if this is a retail store, which is the case, and there's like a promotion here, I actually want to know how many times a person actually went into the promotion area to, uh, to build some kind of benchmarking. What happens if I do a promotion in this part of the, of the store? So it can give you a lot of insights without um, having a, a person uh, looking through all these recordings and making evaluation. This is all happening automatically. So this is kind of a very short uh, explanation of what Kerberos Hub 
is capable of. Of course, there are a lot of other use cases that we cannot show during this uh, short demo, but like face reduction, removing people's faces, um, queue management inside the retail store to detect like what are, what are the long-standing queues. Um, and we have other, other use cases as well for factories, like detecting if people are wearing helmets, if they're um, following all the recommendations for safety and these kind of things. So Kerbal's Hub, single pane of glass, gives you analytics, a lot of automations. Um, but most crucial thing in video surveillance, video analytics is of course the recording. So how do you scale this? Um, we, can, we have shown that we can scale our agents. How do you scale your storage? And therefore, we have introduced another component which we call Kerbal's Vault. So Kerbal's Vault, I will go back um, to the overview page here. Kerbal's Vault is actually the, the piece or the part in the middle that is connecting or storing the recordings from your agents, but also making them available in your Kerbal's Hub. So with the Kerbal's Vault, what you can actually do is you can add your own storage. You can add your storage provider. So um, we support any S3 compliant storage, such as like MinIO storage, S3, but also Google storage. So if you already have like cloud storage available, you can just connect it. If you have like edge storage, Ceph cluster, MinIO cluster, you can also add it. So independent of like, if you have a, a cloud uh, deployment or an edge deployment, you can, you can also use Kerbal's Vault there. So once you've connected it and you create an account, what you will see is that all your recordings will actually be added into your, uh, into your storage provider. So once you've done that, a nice way to build up your own use case, and that's what we've seen, is that you can introduce your own machine learning models. So you can build an integration, you can add a message broker, and each time a an, an recording is being uploaded, we can trigger a message into that broker with the timestamp of the recording, the, the camera or the agent that generated the, the recording, which area was actually detected and these kind of things. So in here you fetch the recording or you can then fetch the recording and apply your own model, which you can then inject back into Kerbal's Hub, which will then be attached as metadata into, into your uh, recording. So that's actually what I wanted to demonstrate you. So we have seen Kerbal's agent, that there are different ways of deploying them. We have seen Kerbal's Hub, how it acts as a central point of view, single pane of glass. And then we have also seen that you can leverage Kerbal's Vault to connect your own storage. So now how can you get started? Um, well, you can just go to app.kerbals.io and in here you can create a new account. Once you've created a new account, uh, you can sign in and uh, you can uh, go for a subscription and you can start adding your your cameras using one of your uh, one of your credentials and your cameras will show up if you're an enterprise uh, if you have an enterprise subscription you will also be able to add your own vault so you will uh, be fully responsible of the storage of your recordings we as kerbals.io will not have access to the underlying recording we will just showcase it or show it in the ui uh, for the end user. So this is why I wanted to show you. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please drop a, a comment on this recording.